And welcome back. Here is a live look outside on our first alert sky cam in Fargo as as the Fargo area is kind of on the borderline between the clouds and the sunshine. And it looks like we are going to warm up pretty nicely as we go through the day today. But later on tonight, there is a chance of some showers and even some possible rumbles of thunder as a disturbance makes its way through. But temperatures are on their way up. Uh, we're going to be above average as we go through the day today. Here's the current temperatures around the region, currently at 56 in Fargo, but cooler air into Lakes Country, upper 40s and lower 50s and near 60 out toward the Jamestown area. We're seeing temperatures into the northern half of our viewing area between 50 in northwestern Minnesota and uh, near 60 out toward the Candu and Carrington area right now. Our normal high this time of year into the lower 60s. We do have southerly winds into Lakes Country and northerly winds into our northern half and into the eastern or the western portion of our viewing area. Northerly wind in that direction. Wind speed's not that bad as we go through the day today. 10 to 20 miles per hour it does show that we are basically uh, on a borderline between warm air and cold air, and that's sparking off clouds across the region as we do have partly to mostly cloudy skies and some rain showers. Let's take a look at where we are seeing some of that activity between Monoman, the White Earth area. Uh, we do have some rain showers in that direction. Also some rain showers as you make your way from the Sisseton area through Traverse County and into Grant County right now. And just a few passing showers from Valley City South toward the South Dakota border. Everybody else staying dry as of right now. We do have uh, this uh, cold front making its way through. Some warm air is filtering into the southern portion of our viewing area, but uh, we see uh, looking off to the west, uh, cooler northerly flow will be the story as we go through the rest of the work week and into the weekend. We're also going to have that disturbance set, over, set up over us, so we do have the chances of some rain over the next couple of days. Starting this afternoon, we're going to see some rain showers developing in our western counties and moving east into the Red River Valley by around the 4 or 5 p.m. hour. Could last until around 10, 11 p.m. before they start to dissipate and we turn partly to mostly cloudy and of course and, and still we do have the chance of some rumbles of thunder with this one with the clouds uh, temperatures will stay mild as we go through the evening and overnight as we fall back through the 40s with low temperatures in most places into the upper 30s to near 40 degrees then we have that northerly wind as we go through the day tomorrow another round of some afternoon and evening showers with possible rumbles of thunder are possible for your friday evening and possible again for saturday let's take a look at what to expect as we go through the afternoon there's your partly to mostly cloudy skies with the shower and thunder storm chance and highs in the Fargo area, one of the warm spots, into the lower 60s. We're near 60 for your Friday and 58 on Saturday. More chances of some showers with possible rumbles of th thunder. Uh, Sunday looks good, mostly sunny, a high of 61, 64 Monday. Uh, more shower chances lasting until Tuesday, but we're staying near average into the low to mid 60s through Wednesday and Wednesday, another mostly sunny day.